Welcome to a basic introduction to mechanical ventilation. This is chapter 2.9, Pressure Control Ventilation. Pressure control ventilation is the first mode that we're going to discuss, and this is the mode of ventilation where the pressure is set by the user. When the patient triggers or assists a breath, or after a set period of time, control, the ventilator will rapidly increase airflow in the tubing until it reaches a set pressure in the circuit that had been set by the user. Now as the lungs inflate, the airflow in the ventilator tubing starts to decrease until the pressure is equal throughout the ventilator and the lungs. Pressure control ventilation is time cycled which means that after a preset time, the ventilator drops the airway pressure to a set PEEP to allow for exhalation. Depending on the ventilator, the inspiratory time is either set directly through the TI or by setting the IE ratio and the frequency of four breaths. Therefore, the variables that the user sets when initiating mechanical ventilation are the applied pressure, the PEEP, the respiratory rate, and the inspiratory time, or IE ratio. The output variables that the user has to watch for is the tidal volume, inspiratory flow, and minute ventilation. These are dependent on the lung mechanics and are not controlled by the ventilator itself. Most importantly, the delivered tidal volume depends on the pressure gradient, which is the difference between the set pressure and the PEEP, as well as the inspiratory time. The airway resistance and lung compliance also play a role, as we've discussed with the equation of motion. You can see one of the nasty side effects of auto peep in the circumstances when the tidal volume that can be delivered goes down because the pressure gradient between the set pressure and the peep, which is in fact higher because of auto peep, causes less tidal volume to be delivered. Finally, I want to ensure that I have emphasized yet again that in a pressure control mode of ventilation the tidal volume is a variable and you need to keep an eye on how much minute ventilation is going in in order to ensure that the patient is not becoming hypercarbic. Pressure control ventilation is not used as frequently as dual mode or volume control modes of ventilation and has fallen out of favor since the mid-2000s. The primary benefit of pressure control ventilation is that it prevents damage from excess lung pressure or barotrauma as well as ventilator induced lung injury.